Hey Google, turn the lights. Assalamu alaikum, Samir Soge with you. There comes a moment in your life when it becomes very difficult to get off your bed and go to the light switch and turn on or off your lights due to laziness. Home automation comes to the rescue. To have the privilege to be so lazy, you have to work hard once. In my home, I have automated many of the power switches, but I have never automated any of the light switch. The reason is that I have this fear that uh, if the microcontroller fails or if the Wi-Fi goes down, you will not be able to turn on or off the lights. A worst case scenario would be if I'm not home and if something happens to the setup, then my family will be left in dark. So while searching for an option to make a fail safe light switch, I found out that the light switch present in my room is based on a two-way switch. This was a light bulb moment for me. So using a two-way switch, I could easily make a fail-safe light switch such that even if the microcontroller fails or if Wi-Fi goes down, still I'll be able to control the lights using conventional means on or off. In this video, I'll show you uh, how to make a fail-safe light switch using ESP32 and uh, uh, an electromagnetic relay. An SSR relay won't do. Uh, also, you can uh, replace the ESP32 with an ESP8266 or an Arduino which is based on Wi-Fi. As we have already discussed, we'll be using uh, two-way switches to achieve fail-safe. So, I'll go through the concepts in brief. Uh, these are a couple of two-way switches. You can control the light by toggling any of this uh, two-way switch, either this or this. So generally these two switches are kept far away from each other. Let's say if one is at the bedside, the other is at the door. If uh, one is at the bottom of the stairs, the other is uh, at the top of the stairs. So let's say I'm at the bottom of the stairs. Okay, and uh, I want to turn the lights on. I'll toggle this thing. As you can see, the connection is made. And let's see, now I have reached at the uh, top of the stairs and I'll toggle this thing and the connection breaks and the light goes off of the stairway. Uh, in our project, we will be replacing this or this with, a, uh, uh, with an electromagnetic relay. So this is uh, one example of an electromagnetic relay uh, which has a single relay. Uh, this uh, terminal is the uh, common terminal where you will connect the live connection. This one and this one will go to the corresponding uh, input of the uh, two-way switch. Normally it is uh, named as L1 and L2. So this is uh, the two-way switch I was talking about. Uh, it looks like a normal button only, but uh, on the back side, there are uh, two terminals, L1 and L2, and uh, one common, okay. So this is where the live goes, and L1 and L2 goes to the corresponding relay this is a, a two port relay of which we'll use only one so this is the common where i have connected the bulb okay and uh, l1 and l2 goes to the first one and the third one the neutral we don't have to touch it the neutral which is going to come from the mains is going to be carried to the bulb directly the relay is connected to this ESP8266 so that we can control it with uh, a web interface, uh, the relay, and uh, it can also be integrated with OpenHab and uh, subsequently with uh, Amazon Echo and uh, Google Home. I'll uh, power this thing now. So the bulb has already come on. So. 
I'm able to turn it on or off via this button. Okay. And I'll access the web interface of the uh, ESP8266 and uh, control the relay. As you can see, I'm able to control it uh, via this portion as well. Now let's say our ESP8266 goes down. We will simulate it via disconnecting the power to the ESP8266. So now this portion has failed completely. And this is where we want to achieve fail safe. So again, we are still able to turn on or off the light via the conventional means. Now we'll see how I have implemented uh, this thing in my setup. This is uh, one of the switch box which is uh, close to my bed. I have replaced the switch which was a two-way switch with this uh, relay and ESP32. The main uh, live voltage goes to the relay common and uh, NO and NC of the relay goes to the other switch uh, which is close to the door. The only problem I have with this uh, switch box is that there is uh, no neutral. Uh, it means uh, I have to use external power to power ESP32. Had there been neutral inside, I could have used AC to DC module and I could have uh, shut this thing and there would be no uh, cables going into uh, the switch box. Let me uh, demo this thing for you. This is the open hub app. This is the light. So as you can hear, the relay triggered. The relay triggered. Now let's uh, see the uh, other switch box. So this is the other switch. This is a two-way switch which is close to the door. And uh, the connections to this switch is coming from NO and NC of the relay and going to L1 and L2. Common of this one is going to uh, the bulb and we can control the bulb from here as well and uh, this is how my setup is let's say uh, you don't have two switch boxes you only have one switch box then let's hope that you have enough space in your box that you can house the switch as well as uh, the relay and uh, esp32 or esp8266 uh, whichever and the connections are similar or if you don't have space in the switch box what you can do is uh, like uh, attach a, a separate transparent boxes are available you can uh, use that and the circuitry will go in this and you'll have to take connections from there to this this particular switch hope this uh, video has been informative for you thanks for watching and do subscribe